Hey guys, it's Dino here from Dino's Gaming, coming to you with another how-to tutorial with a semi-automatic farm. This one's fairly simple. You're going to need a few things. You need a block of your choice, some slabs. I use cobblestone and cobblestone slabs, a lever, redstone dust, pistons, and an unlimited water supply, water source. If you're in survival, you can do the 4x4 thing. Now you have an unlimited water supply. That way you don't have to keep running back and forth and everything. Alright, let me make sure... Okay. Start this off. This needs to be 8 deep. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then I have it 8 in the middle. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Start this off. I want to put source blocks in each one of these. Again, I use source blocks just because I don't like hearing the, the running water sound. Okay. Now I'll get out the hoe. Start ho hoeing this down. Do the hoe down. Okay, once I got this done. Okay. Once that's done. Oops. Get your block of choice out. Line the back up. What you want to be the back. Another row, and then this one has a row on top. One there. Two there. Get the, the pistons out. Don't. Piston, 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 piston. Cover that up. Cover that up. Get the lever out. Place the lever there. Get your dust out, and then you want to put a line of dust all the way down here. And then you want to extend the pistons. Get your block of choice again. Uh, yeah, I did that right. Okay. Get your bucket of water out again. Again, I'm using a source block in each one. I, I can't stand hearing that wa running water sound. Okay. Now to start this off, let me go ahead and get some wheat seeds. Uh, if I can remember where they're at. There they are. Get some wheat seeds. I'll go ahead and get this planted. And maybe I can show you guys it, it in action. Show you that it does work. Produces probably at least a stack every time it's harvested. Again, these could be this could be even made bigger. Could have it on several different platforms and have each platform go down one if that's the case. The one on the the one on the top needs to be only seven long, and then the one on the very bottom. All the other ones need to be seven, but the last one needs to be eight. That way it can wash the crops out through the end. Okay, now get your block of choice out again and cover this water up. I usually go four out and then do half slabs. The reason why I do the, the, the full blocks is because sometimes the, the crops get stuck on there. That kind of helps prevent that. And then, take this row out, and we'll go with that. That. 
take that out. Use a source bucket there. Source bucket there. Okay. No. Oh, need some hoppers in this one. Otherwise, it ain't going to be that automated. Alright, so take the hoppers out. What you want to do is you want to... Oh, crouch place. Crouch place. Crouch place. And crouch... Oop. Crouch place. Then make sure they're all coming out to the front. And they are. Now we'll get a... A double chest. There's a double chest there. Okay. Get the half slabs out. And then... I don't know why sometimes I like to half slab this up. But now that I think about it, you probably don't want to do that because the crops will probably get stuck on there more. <laughs> Makes sense. Okay. As you can see, the crops are already growing. It's pretty much done. You can, you know, do a few things to pretty it up. Use a glass block. Use a glass block there to make sure the water doesn't spill out on the sides. But yeah, there you guys have it. You can hide the redstone if you want to or need to. But then, when it's time to harvest, I'm going to go ahead and let it harvest. I know I'm just going to get wheat seeds, but it does work, guys. Alright, to harvest, you just let the water flow. Let it wash all the crops down. As you can see, one got stuck there. Every once in a while, one will still get stuck, but once they all work their way down to the bottom, we'll shut the water off. Would have been kind of cool if I would have just did a time lapse and let the crops grow, but you guys get the point. And then I shut the water off. Now it's all ready to be replanted. And then down here in the chest is all the wheat seeds all right there you guys have it a semi-automatic farm pretty pretty basic definitely helps automating the the farming the tedious farming process I don't like the the tedious aspect of it so I I gotta try and automate just about anything I can all right there you guys have it if you guys enjoyed the video, smash that like button. Share the video on social media. Don't forget to subscribe. Share it on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Yik Yak, Google+, YouTube, whatever you guys are doing nowadays. All right, Dino out. Peace.